Hi guys! Welcome back to another video. I'm Jay, aka The Makeup Talk. I wanted to go ahead and thank you guys for joining me again. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. So today I'm going to show you guys how I get my uh, blowout. Now, um, my hair story is just... Okay, so I have really curly hair. My dad has curly hair, my mom has curly hair, they're both Colombian, and I have never really liked my hair. Funny enough though, when I was really young, my hair was really, really straight, stick, stick, straight, and my hair was straight all the way up until about fourth grade, and then it started getting really, really curly. My hair just got so curly out of nowhere, I didn't know what to do, and it really made me super self-conscious. I'm not really sure, well, it really made me self-conscious when I was in middle school, you know, kids are mean and I would get called all kind of things, poodle, top ramen, I mean, you name it, there was a name that I had because of my hair. I mean, it was so bad that when I was 15, like, I didn't have a quinceanera, I had a sweet 16 the next year because we just didn't even know if we were going to do a party or not. Anyways, we'll save that story for another time. But anyways, for my quinceanera, I asked for a Japanese straightening treatment, um, and that was probably the best thing that ever really, like, happened to me. I was so happy. Like, I don't think anybody understands, like, the confidence boost that that gave me just to be able to not have to worry about my hair. I used to do some pretty ridiculous things. I would, like, wake up at 5.30 in the morning to straighten my hair um, pretty often, like, every two or three days during high school. I used to wake up all the time at 5.30 in the morning to straighten my hair. That sounds ridiculous and I would never do that now. It's just, it really did take a toll on my self-confidence. So for my quinceanera, that's what I asked my mom. I was like, that's the only thing I want. If I can't have a party, then I just want to have straight hair. So the lady who does my mom's hair um, is very good and she does my hair sometimes too. So we've been going to her for like 10 plus years as well, this story, now that I'm telling it, when I got my uh, quinceanera, when I, when I was my quinceanera, that was uh, almost 10 years ago this year. I've been going to the salon since I was six years old because my hair was so stick straight and my mom absolutely hated it because it I didn't look like her. I had stick straight hair and I just didn't look like her daughter. And people always thought that she was my nanny. So um, my mom permed my hair and of course my dad wanted to kill her because, you know, who perms a six year old's hair? I always used to tell my mom all the time that I blamed her, that that's the reason my hair turned curly. Obviously, we know it didn't. Biology just intervened and puberty intervened. I just never really embraced it. I haven't really let my hair air... I only ever let my hair air dry when I'm, like, on vacation or something. You know, like, if I'm, like, on a beach or something like that, then I don't worry about it too much. But for the most part, this is how I wear my hair, as you've seen in many of my videos. Um, but... Normally, about every four to six months, I do go get a Brazilian blowout. Um, my hairstylist has been doing them to me for about two or three years now. I absolutely love it. When I do get my Brazilian blowouts, all I have to do is blow dry my hair. I don't have to touch the straightener, which is really, really nice. Um, I still don't let it hair dry, but still, it's so, so, so convenient. I'm not a professional stylist by any means. I just, I've been going to the salon for a long time, and I kind of picked up on how to dry my hair best um, to get the kind of volume that I want and the kind of, uh, kind of wear time that I want because I wash my hair about twice a week. Um, really unless I'm going to the gym in which case I'll wash it more often obviously because gross dirty hair but I wash my hair about twice a week and the reason for that is that one I don't like to obviously use the hot tools as much you know I don't like to use hot tools that often so in order to prevent that I wash my hair a lot less and then also um, my hair if I over wash it it just gets too dry so she's been doing our hair for a really long time and she did my first Japanese straightening treatment, and I've gotten since then, I believe, two other ones. I'll be honest for you. I'll be honest with you. That I just did the Japanese. I did it, like I said, two or three times, and then I started to notice a really big change in my hair. Also, because I was using the hot tails, like I said, I used to get up in high school like every two, three days, and wash my hair and like or not even every two three days probably like every other day and I used to use I used to rely so much on the straightener to do the work for you 
and that's not the way you want to do your hair especially if you want to have healthy hair really you want to rely more on the blow dryer to get it straight for you so then after I got the two or three Japanese straightening treatments I started noting a big difference in my hair plus all the hot tools but you're not supposed to use a lot of hot tools if you do get the Japanese straightening treatment be forewarned also don't go just anywhere to get one I just wouldn't recommend going just anywhere because it can be really damaging on your hair if one if it's not done right and two care after the treatment is very important so um, the one that I got was the Yuko system treatment and I mean to say that it worked like a dream would be I mean putting it lightly I absolutely loved my hair and I still to this day I mean even when I get my Brazilians it's great but obviously it's not that straight and it's not as sleek it just wouldn't grow was my biggest problem so I started turning a lot to extensions and I'll go into the extensions that I use in a different video and all my hair care stuff but for the last uh, four years or so I have been using um, basically three things that never change in my routine I would say four or five years four to five years has been the macadamia deep repair mask I love this stuff I've used a lot of other masks but I keep going back to this this is the best stuff on the market like I get I mean I get a liter of it this lasted me almost like a year so I mean definitely 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 good good uh, worth investment so yeah pick this up if you ever see it trust me your hair will thank me you will thank me then the uh, Kenra blow dry spray Casey Holmes actually recommended this to me and I can tell you that I notice a huge difference in my hair when I don't use this. This is really great because it, so basically I'm going to tell you what it says it does. Blow dry spray dramatically reduces blow dry time up to 50% and provides intense heat protection from damage and breakage. This lightweight formula detangles, smooths, and softens while eliminating, while eliminating frizz and resisting humidity for long lasting healthy results. Shake well before using, spray evenly on damp hair. So yeah, this is what I spray into my hair, um, you know, right before I go into blow dry. What it does is it reduces dry time and obviously uh, the less time you can spend with the hot tools uh, the better and I do feel a really great silkiness in my hair when I use this so I have noticed a difference with that. Like I said, five years. And something that I basically picked up about three years ago and again something that has not left my basically my routine is the Aveda smooth infusion naturally straight progressively loosens curls for a straight style so with this one thoroughly apply cream in sections to tile dry hair blow dry flat iron if necessary if necessary um, and it's safe for relaxed and color treated hair the smooth infusion treatment this is really good you're only supposed to use the tiniest amount what did I say Okay, so you're only really supposed to use a tiny amount. I'll link the Aveda video down below, so in the description box, so you guys can check it out. But basically, you're supposed to use, like, a dime size amount. So you part your hair in half, you're supposed to use a dime size amount for the bottom, and then a dime size amount for around the top. Kind of try to stick away from the, um, the top of your head, but quite frankly, I mean... I break the rules all the time and as you will see I use about a nickel size amount on the bottom of my hair and nickel size amount about the top of my hair but you can use too much of that stuff and it will ruin your blowout so I would say stick with the nickel size amount don't go beyond that so this is how I style my hair if you want to see how I style my hair and the battle that I've been dealing with practically my whole life please keep on watching <laughs>
story time but this is a video I really wanted to do because this is something that I mean it's personal to me like I I know not everyone's gonna agree with the fact that you know I don't wear my hair natural and 
that, you know, I feel the need to straighten it and all of that. But honestly, it's what makes me happy. It's the way that I've lived my life for like 10 plus years now. I absolutely love um, having my hair like this. It's how I feel myself. And... You know, whatever makes you confident, whatever makes you happy, do it for you and do it for no, and don't care about what anybody else says. I 100% believe that. So, yeah, this is what makes me happy and this is how I do my hair and all I'm trying to do on here is I hope that this video helps somebody else out. Really tough. It's really tough and honestly, for what I do to get my hair straight, I mean, there is just twice the amount of the work and effort that goes into having really gorgeous, gorgeous curls. Um... And so, yeah, um, I mean, applause to you guys that you guys really do, you know, embrace your natural hair and you guys do the, you know, the most to get it, you know, to its beautiful state. I just, it's just not for me. I have beautiful, curly, wavy hair and you absolutely love your hair. I mean, props to you. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Um, you know, let me know in the comment section if you guys have tried any other products or let me know your hair story. I... <laughs> people don't think that this is like a very big deal and to some people it may not be but you know those of us who have had the struggle you know the struggle with the bleaching the hair and you know the unnecessary chemical cut um and people who have had curly hair and people who've had straight hair that you know they can't hold a curl all of that i mean all of that just just speaks to me and so yeah guys i hope you like the video and uh, stay tuned for more bye guys